Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today we have a very young aspiring uh, guest So, and he's here to share his story as a, as a young truck here in the United States. And I know most of you have been asking me about uh, trucking and like I told you, trucking is a very big business here in the US and he's very young and he's here to share his story. So stay tuned. Stay tuned and get all the information. So, uh, Meshak, I'm going to let you introduce yourself and tell us about yourself. Well, oh, thank you for having me. My name is Meshak Omari. Uh, I'm a truck driver in the United States. I come from the greater KC County. Mm -hmm. uh, that is where I'm, uh, that's my birthplace. Yeah, KC is my home. <laughs> I no. lived there for some for some time. Oh, okay. How do you find this? No. It's it's a very good place. I love it. It's very green. You have I, I mean you, you kind of get everything that you need, everything fresh. So yeah. yeah, I love the place. Wow, thank you. Yeah. So how did you come here? When did you come here and how did you get here? I I came to the US in the 2018, 2018 at around September uh, 25th, around there, mm -hmm. um, by winning, you know, the famous winter. Yeah. Oh, you played the, uh, you won the green card, that's how you yeah. got it? I you... played the lottery and won, luckily won. Wow, that, yeah. that's so good. I'm so happy for you. Was that your first time or? Uh, uh, not first time per se. I tried like I think a couple of times, more than four times. But I guess I guess the fifth time I was, you know, I was the lucky person. Yeah. So you tried like four times. Yeah, and the fifth, fifth time, I got it. So you you got your yeah like you 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 won your green card your green card your fifth time right? Yes. Wow, that's so great! I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Yeah, so it's it's also uh, so good to tell people that uh, this thing, it doesn't mean that when you play the first time, you have to get it. It's always good to have patience, play. Yeah. It doesn't mean that you play it once and you get it. Sometimes you have to play like several times and, you know, even play to your like 10 times. That's what sure. you got to one try. Yeah, I keep on trying because you never know when your luck is going to come. So, I never lose hope. That is my experience. I kept on trying, trying every year. Every yeah, year. some people got, uh, tried for the first time and they get it. Some people have tried like several times to get it. So, keep trying. The only thing is that uh, never lose hope and keep trying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so when you first came here, uh, how was your experience? How how was it? Given uh, the fact that, um, given the fact that you you know you were you were raised in a different environment and then you left there, and now you came here, like from the very first time when you landed here, how was it for you? Oh, my first. I think it was the first time I got here. It was a bit scary, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, you know, we know, we know, we used to talk in the way these people talk. So, mm -hmm. and that it was very scary. You know, you meet, you meet folks, you meet new folks who talk like, you know, something that you've never had before. So, it was scary at the first time, you know. Culture yeah. shock itself was something else that I've never experienced. Right. So, a lot of factors worked against me, but I was able to cope up with that, you know, and fit into, you know, this system that we are in right now. Yeah, yeah, that's a very huge thing. Everybody who comes here, they they have to go through like such like culture shock. It like it's such a normal thing that everybody has to go through. And then, so when you came here, did you kind of come with family? Were you married? Were you single? No, uh, I came here uh, no married. So <laughs> I guess I came here as a single person. I didn't have nobody. I didn't have time with nobody back. So, let's talk about tracking first, okay? Yeah, yeah. So, so you came here and then 
we already talked about the uh, culture shock, and then so uh, so after landing here, like how much money did you need to have to to get here? Did you have like a huge lots of money? Did you save for it, or how much? How much well, money did you need to have? Myself, I came to the US with around two thousand dollars. That's what I had for me to jumpstart me in this other, in this other side of the world. Yeah. So you say two thousand dollars is what you had? Yeah, that's what I had. Wow. Wow, that's good. At least for you, you had two thousand dollars for me. <laughs> cool. I don't even want to say how much I came with, but yeah. Oh, so you know. <laughs> I, I I had less than that, but but what I can say is that people who want to come here, it doesn't matter how much you you guys have, you can still come and you know find your roots and still make it. So yeah. So Meshak, how was your first job experience? Did you come and start working as a truck driver, or did you do some other jobs? How was your was that your no. first job, or did you do some other jobs? My first job, I came in, I started working as a store associate at Amazon. Mm -hmm. uh, and to be very sincere, you know, I didn't like the job. Mm -hmm. But I did it for like three good months before I quit and you know, started. I did my CDL and started trucking. CDL is for much driver's license, so I, I did start the mm -hmm. truck. Yeah, most people usually don't like the first job because <laughs> it introduces you to a different environment where you are not, you are never used to it. And yes. then sometimes you are like, you know, I think I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm going to change to a different thing. So maybe that's what, that's what happened to you. Yeah. So would you like to tell people like what kind of job you are doing? Like were you kind of receiving, parking, or distrib distributing stuff? Like how is it working in there? And how much money were you getting paid? Would you like to share about that? Uh, or okay. I can. <laughs> what I can share is uh, maybe say since the you, minimum. Since you're not working there, would you like to share about it? I can only share, you know, likely, you yeah, know, the minimum pay, minimum pay that I, you know, Amazon pays. That is fifteen dollars a, uh, you know, fifteen dollars an hour, and you have an average of around thirty hours, thirty to forty hours. So I leave it at that. Yeah. Yeah, how week that is. Yeah, and yeah, like I said, it's good money. You make like good money as compared to back home. And here, like I said, you get paid per hour. And the number of hours that you put to work is what you make at the end of the week. So depending on how, you know, your energy and how you... How you push yourself. Say, like, yeah, that's how much you are going to make at the end of the week. Yeah, so so after that, did you like did you just go direct to trucking? Did you have to buy your own truck to start trucking business or did you uh drive somebody's truck to uh for the first time or how did you just uh start your trucking business? Okay, first uh, I started driving, you know, uh, uh somebody's truck. Mm -hmm. um, I eventually, you know, got some money did a down payment for my own truck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So how much money did you need to have for down payments? Um, the trucks are quite pricey. So, you know, and uh, the good thing that uh, really assisted me was I had, I, I had a very good uh, credit score. So when I approached my, you know, my institute, my banking institution, they were able to give me some good money for me to go to, you know, get a truck. So I did a, I put a down payment of uh, fifty thousand dollars towards my truck. Oh wow, that's so good! Yeah, <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Yeah, really just it. having the mindset of you know saving and having a good credit is just all you needed to have to get your truck. Like most people don't even think about having a good credit, you know? Yeah, and. Marisha, for someone who is watching us, you know, like most people who are back home or they would like to come and do the same thing that you do, having a good credit score and having a bad credit score. Would you like to share about that? 
I think, uh, you know, I can share a little bit because uh, the same concept of my uh, credit card is the same as what we got yeah, in just Kenya. just a little bit. Just mm-hmm. what we got in Kenya called CRB. So if you have a bad rapport uh, with CRB in Kenya, uh, you will not be able to get some money from some institutions. That's the same yeah. concept that applies to, you know, here in the U.S. So if you have a mm-hmm. bad credit, you will not get money from people or institutions that fund people. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that is it. <laughs> Yep. So if they just want to come here, all you need to do is just come and work for a short time, you know, save your money, have a good credit, and then oh, get your own track, start your own business. That's that's all you need, right? Yes, nothing much, nothing less. And Meshak, how old are you? Uh, I'm 28. <laughs> You're not even you're you're too young and you're you're on the road, you're doing all that. Yeah. Do you do you get scared? Like by the way, do you go local? Mine is I'm over the road. Uh like I'm virtually in every state in the US. So mm-hmm. so you go like over uh it's over, called OTR, over to, the road. Over the road. Yeah, it's almost every like virtually every state in the US. Wow, that's so good. And yeah. do, you do, do you drive the, the semi? Because I know they have like semi trucks and the boxes. Which one do you drive? The semi or the, oh, right. se- uh, the semi or no, the boxes? I didn't because I didn't want to jump the gun into you know driving uh, going for semi. So I, I I decided like I'm gonna start with a box truck. So mm-hmm. I'm I'm driving a box truck right now. Wow, that's that's good. Yeah, because yeah. I'm also thinking into getting like a truck. <laughs> I've yep. been thinking about it. That's that's why you you know you see you know about uh, these truck things about the semi and the box, mm-hmm. the box truck and the semi truck. So I know a little bit about it because I'm also thinking about you know getting it. Getting Come on board. Business. <laughs> Come on board. We, we we want people like you on board. So so that we yeah. Can be so it's something that I'm really better. thinking about, and yeah, yeah I'll see. Maybe I will join you soon. Who knows? You can be a trucker yourself. You know, it's no man's job. Anybody can be able to fit in. Yeah, anybody can. It's something that anybody can do. I can either do it locally or, you know, Mm -hmm. do it or the one that you say, like, over the road. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, So, So how do you like it? I I, I have to be very sincere. I love my job. Mm -hmm. Because first thing first, I got my freedom. You know, there's nothing as good as freedom, 24 seven. Right. Mm-hmm. So I love being a truck. Yeah, and most people that I talk to, especially yeah. people who, who come from, you know, working like uh, this other job that you have to go and clock in and clock out, yeah. and then they get their own trucks. That's the best thing that, all, that they always say, that once you get your own truck, the only thing that they say about is that the freedom, the fact that you don't have to go and go into someone's, you know, organization and have to go and, you know, reporting to somebody and, you know, you have your own freedom. Freedom yeah. to decide on what time to go and work and what time, you know, to come out. And then the fact that also <laughs> you make a lot of money within a very short time. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. You know, would there's you like money to talk in truck. about that. Mm, I can uh, highlight. You don't have to, on that. I mean, you don't have to tell the figures, but you can just quote like you know, there's a very big difference between your other job and this other job. You know. Oh, they, like they, in a week. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a great difference, but to be very sincere, because you know what I used to get in my other job in a week's mm-hmm. time. I'm able, like in a week, I can be able to make double of what I used to get at my other job. So, because I'm comfortable. Right. You know. There is money in trucking. That one I can tell for fun. I don't lie to nobody. There is money in trucking business. If you go, if you're ready, join us. You know, you don't want to make yeah. money. Oh, you other folks you know making money. Join us on board. If you're in for school, I sure will. I'm in I sure will. Maybe pretty yeah. soon you're gonna see me somewhere. <laughs> Don't run over me. So. No, 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 no. We can't. <laughs> oh yeah, it's something that I'm really thinking about. So yeah. yeah. Just go ahead. Actually, hmm? 
just go in hard. Don't don't even think otherwise. You know, we yeah, are living just money. Been to be about and yeah, I'll see. I'm okay. So for someone who is who is watching us and you know their drivers at home and they want to come over here and you know, what 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 would you like to sell them? Because you know, like uh, they've been asking me about tracking jobs. You know, about uh, coming over here and I'm telling them to the only thing, the only legal way you can come over here is to try the green card. You know, like like you said, you try it several times and you got yep. sure coming here legally. What advice would you tell them about coming here legally, you know, having that patience to wait to get the green card, even if it takes you like 10 times or even 20 times. And then the fact that uh, you are a, a very young, you know, in your 20s, and then you are doing like tracking. Because back home, people believe that you, you have to be like an old man, <laughs> you know? maybe to do like tracking business but here we see like a very young people doing such kind of business what, what what kind of advice would you like to tell them well first i would like to tell people try the green card you know don't don't give up you gotta keep on trying again and again if you're lucky to you know get that green card come do tracking it has money you'll be able mm -hmm. to do what you want maybe you know back home in the shortest time possible so mm -hmm. come let's do track and the legal way you know don't come in you know as a visitor and then you try to hide yourself that one you cannot be able to go into track maybe you can do other jobs but the legal way to get here is to maybe get married to somebody who's a citizen you know or get that good thing that's the best and easiest way to get into track right yeah yeah, there are several ways that uh, people can try and come here legally, but there are no like shortcuts, like they want me to send them links to come here as truck, uh, truck drivers. No one is going to send links to come here as truck, uh, as a truck driver. There are no links for that. No, so no, the no. only best way is maybe look for someone to marry you. And I know you can, so try your luck. Yeah. <laughs> so I know. Meshak is single for those no, of you who are watching us. <laughs> single but no searching at the moment. <laughs> single but no searching right now at the moment. Oh, you are not searching? Yes, because I want to stabilize myself for these maybe one and a half years first. Yeah, oh, but he's not searching. So, guys, <laughs> that's too bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> So, Meshak, what else would you like to share? Yeah. Anything else that you've experienced here? Do you have anything else to share? You know? Uh, I don't have any bad experience, so I think uh, I don't have much to share, but uh, I, love, I love people to you know, try applying for the green card thing. Then join us here. You can be able to do a lot. Do you get tired? Oh, there's, I think I get on the third part. There's no job that you don't tire. Mm -hmm. you know? The only, the only, the only, the only thing that I can say we have an advantage is, you know, being back home and you know trying to rest on your couch. My truck is, you know, my this is where I sleep. This is where I spend the better part of, you know, my days, you know, in. So, if you love sleep, mm -hmm. you cannot be able to make it into truck. Yeah. Oh wow. So, yeah. check. What is the bad thing about? single being single in a foreign land would you like to share your story about being single not having a girlfriend what are the challenges that you face do you face any challenges of course there are, there are challenges we are human you know and we all are i'll share you know what I'll, I'll share what i love <laughs> you are so funny <laughs> anyways anyways thank you so much um, thank you so much for sharing your story about tracking and i hope that uh people who are wondering about you know uh coming to the u.s and have been becoming drivers you know practicing as drivers commercial drivers so this is the proof that you guys can make it 
it's doable. You can become anything. I really tell them that they can become anything. You know, here mm -hmm. you can. Whatever. Here we have a lot of drivers. Actually, whatever. everything here whatever. is run on drivers. Food deliveries, you know, shopping, whatever. <laughs> drivers. People don't go to shop when you buy food. You can even you just make your order, you pay, and then you get delivered to your house. So you don't have to be a truck driver. If you if you just want to do these other deliveries, you can do that. You know, here it's a there are other jobs that people can do. You know, cleaning jobs depends on what you want to do, and you don't have to go to school. You only go to school if you want to go to school and you want to change your life. But yeah. if school is not your thing. Just do what you like. Yeah. Yeah. So if school is not a thing again, like I said, do what you like, you know, like tracking. People are making a lot of money than even pe people who are going to school. So, mm -hmm. and Mesha here can uh, attest to that. So, I guys, yeah, he makes like triple. <laughs> I, I, I don't know, know, like triple, but they make like five times what people make, so, and they brag, actually. And when it comes to taxes, they get, like, huge refunds. Yep. <laughs> so, uh -huh. yeah, so, yeah, it depends on how you want to make your future once you get here. It depends on who you hang out once you get here and, the, and how you decide to make your future to become different. So, guys, that's what you had and thank you so much for watching so meshak i'm going to let you you know tell our viewers the last parting shot and yeah oh let me first thank you winnie for having me on your show mm -hmm. and you know tell folks back home you all welcome welcome on board thanks once again bye, -bye. yeah thank you Okay, thank Wayne. you so much, Meshak, for sharing your story. And oh. yeah, Sante Sana, at least now after my Jua. So, what could you and Desha see? What could you and join up? I could you join or and Desha now? One is a crew, one is a footer footer. Are you on Instagram or wherever you're not? Uh, I'm on, so I'm on, I'm on all of those social platforms, you know. Yeah, but at least for me, Ume, Ume, and Bia, or Majua, so they know yeah. about it, so they can yeah, do no. it. Yeah. Hope to see you, Winnie. Hope to see you on the road, you know, because I'm watching on all the road. So I will. I'm gonna hunt a cool So maybe I'll have you come for me. Sour, sour. You have a good one. Sour, thank you so much. All right, bye bye. Hi, bye. Okay. Uh tracking is real and people are doing it so. If you are interested and you want to come and try your luck and yeah, and you want to come and venture into trucking business, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter as long as you have a passion for it and you want to come and try it. So yeah, uh, yeah. So you have seen it. You want, if you want to do like, a, you know, you can start with a, a box truck or, and then, advance to a semi or you can start with a semi and then go to you know depending on how well you are you can start small or you can start driving like someone's truck and then once you get your money you can buy your own truck so you have had it all and that's it so it's real and guys you can do it so I'm here to bring you real stories about people, about young people who are doing it, who are making it, who are excelling, and you guys are going to hear these stories kindly. Subscribe to my channel and yeah, continue supporting me. And for those of you who have been asking me about tracking, about commercial heavy drivers, about all kind of drivers, so you have seen it all and it's true, it's real. So Come and try your luck and I hope that it works for you because uh, here all dreams are valid. So good luck to everyone and I hope to see you excel in all your dreams and 
I hope this story will touch everyone. And yeah, good luck and thank you.